This is Lord Beerus, and unless you want your planet destroyed, subscribe to Geekdom 101. It's even better than pudding. Beerus versus Broly. We're going to discuss the hypothetical matchup between the two, and we're going to go into some information that was somewhat given at the end of Dragon Ball Super Broly. It's not a huge spoiler on the events of the film, but it is something that could be considered a minor spoiler, so... Just let you know now ahead of time. So at the end of Dragon Ball Super Broly, Goku states that he thinks that Broly may be, not that he is, that he may be stronger than even Lord Beerus. And that's where this video idea is kind of coming from is, is Broly really possibly at this point by the end of the film during the climactic fight with Gogeta Blue, is he stronger than Beerus? And more importantly, could he actually win the fight? So joining me here to discuss this, somebody who saw the film with me in LA, but the film should be out now, so you guys can watch it too. Please walk, at least in some countries, I don't know where y'all live, but you know, it, it's coming out little by little everywhere. Please welcome back, MJ. What's going on, man? Thank you for having me back on the channel. And thank you for bringing up this topic because it's a good topic I want to discuss. So, okay. Beerus versus Broly. We have to break this down. First and foremost, I did a video called The Strongest in Dragon Ball Beerus. That is a must-see video for everybody who wants to really analyze this um, what-if scenario. Because one of the things that I talk about in that video is not just the fact that Beerus is incredibly freakishly powerful, but also the fact that he has techniques that are ridiculously dangerous that Broly, even if Broly is a little bit or even a lot stronger than Beerus may not be able to contend with, so to speak. Yeah, so with Beerus, the one thing that people have to remember is that Goku says that he's probably stronger than Beerus, and I'm referring to Broly. So we don't really know what to do with that. We assume he's talking about the Hulkish, completely the full final. of rage. Yeah, yeah, the final Broly. We assume that's what he's talking about. And if that's the case, then Broly at his strongest, at his peak, where he's at his most dangerous is really only comparable to Beerus. They're relative to each other. And with that being the scenario for this battle, it can kind of go either way. And that's what me and you were talking about off air. Yeah, Broly can adapt, but could he adapt quick enough to finish off the fight? And I think that's the big question for anybody who wants to analyze this battle because Beerus is no joke. We've actually seen Beerus get serious when he wants to get serious he's we've seen him in fights instantly when he wants to and we've seen him disintegrate people instantly when he sees them as a threat so he may not be the type to play around you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah i mean he played around with goku but he was having a good time but that was god goku now we're talking about broly who you know is a could be a threat to the balance of you know the universe i mean we've seen him crack the dimensional fabric like beerus could do and also in the film when all was said and done there was a scene where beerus is laying there and he's like well i'm glad that got settled and some people were saying that maybe he was you know, breathe the sigh of relief that Broly was taking care of and he didn't have to step in. I don't know. I think people are overly dissecting that scene. I don't think Beerus is afraid of Broly, but I think part of the reason as to why he's not afraid of him is because of a couple points. Number one, Beerus is an extremely well-versed martial artist. Broly is not. If you watch the film, you'll notice that Goku and Vegeta are leagues ahead of Broly when it comes to actual fighting skill. But when it comes to brute strength, Broly wins. Number two, like you mentioned, the Hakai technique, among other techniques as well. Beerus' ability to nullify Ki. In the film, Broly does use Ki rather effectively, I would say. And he has a lot of Ki blasts and he has a lot of brute, you know, blunt force trauma techniques that he uses on Goku, Vegeta, and of course Gogeta. And a little bit on Frieza. Beerus is trained by Whis. He has not mastered Ultra Instinct, but he's aware of Ultra Instinct at much more than Beer than Broly is. Plus, he can nullify key. So, really, I feel like even if Broly went to full power, Beerus might put him away quickly before he even has a chance to grow even more. We do have to talk about Broly's growth, though. Yeah, so in the film, Broly is able to grow incredibly fast. We see him kind of go from getting thrown around by base Vegeta all the way up to where he's squaring up against God Vegeta and to the point where he even puts down God Goku, forcing Goku to go blue. And that was just in his humanoid Uzaru state, rage, whatever you want to call it. And then we see him utilize the Super Saiyan transformation afterwards. So 
yeah, he can grow incredibly quickly. And to our knowledge, that fight was not that long at all. I mean, the only time that we have is him beating up Frieza for almost an hour, it seems. But before, over an hour. Over an hour. But before right. then, we don't really even know how long it took him. Not that long, it seems. So he well, does yeah, grow you have to incredibly remember, quickly. You have to always remember these characters are growing at this, or, or the characters are, are um, much faster than the speed of light at this point. You know, the, the, the events in the series are cinematic timing and things like that. No, you're right. You're absolutely, which is why Gogeta Blue versus Broly was longer than just 30 seconds because, or, you know, a minute because Gogeta was h- hanging in there, but it was, you know, they also broke the dimensional fabric. We're basically seeing fast. the fight slow down in a sense for yeah, us. Yeah, that's, essentially, that's pretty much the way it's per- been perceived. So Broly got really strong. So I think if Beerus and Broly fight, I think if Beerus does toy around with him and does allow Broly to get more and more mad and get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, yes, I think Beerus could be a threat. But here's the question, though. No matter how strong Broly is, can he tank the Hakai? Because we saw him tank the Soul Punisher, the Stardust Breaker. However, the Stardust Breaker Gogeta Blue used in the film was not... Okay, we don't know exactly if that's the same Stardust Breaker he used on Janemba. It looks the same. He formulated it the same, but the original Stardust Breaker is supposed to make you... It doesn't really kill you. It's supposed to get rid of the evil and kind of turn you into... It kind of purifies you, in a sense. Purifies you, yeah, but Broly was not evil. However, it didn't do anything on Broly, which you predicted, by the way. You did predict that before we saw the movie that Broly would tank it, and he did. You know, I watched the movie again, and yes... After seeing it again, he totally freaking tanks it. And then he's screaming, and Ben Shimada's great. But anyways, so we've seen Broly tank that move. But again, it might not be the same as the move from Fusion Reborn. Can Broly tank the Hakai? I don't think so. So with the Hakai, there's, I don't want to say variations of it, but we have seen different people perform it. And with the Hakai, we saw that Frieza was able to tank to some extent. Topo's Hakai. Topo's Hakai did knock him out of the golden form and it did knock him out for a couple of seconds, but otherwise he still got up and he was not decimated. And what I mean by that is if we go back to the series, it's explained to us that the Hakai can literally wipe you from existence. And we find out later, on top of Beers' explanation, Cedra mentions that it takes you away. Your entire soul is gone. You don't even go to the afterlife. You don't even go to hell. Yeah, you don't yeah. go to the afterlife. You're gone. So I don't even think being pure or being evil has anything to do with that. I feel like if you just get hit with that thing, there you go. You know what I mean? Because it's implied, I mean, at least to us, that that Hakai was meant for Frieza and Goku in episode 95. And we know Goku's pure of heart. And he got stuck in it. So, you know... but like you said, though, there's varying degrees of it. There's the Hakai that's meant to wipe you out, which is what we saw him use on Dr. Mashirito and on Zamasu. And then there's like the, the, the I guess, the, the suppressed Hakai, which is what Topo used. You know, and in, in the video that I did about the strongest in Dragon Ball Topo, which is not out yet, but it will be soon. I think you're working on it or you will be soon. Um, in that video, I talk about how we don't know if H- Topo's Hakai is toned down because he's purposely toning it down because he can't kill in the Tournament of Power or if because he's not a full God of Destruction yet. We don't know, but I assume it's the former. I assume that that Hakai is not meant to kill. So um, I don't know. I... I still don't think Broly can survive a max power Hakai. I think if Beerus hits him with the same level of Hakai he hits Zamasu and Mashirito, he's history, even if he's stronger. But if you remove the Hakai, let's take that out of the equation. I still don't know if Broly can beat this guy. I really don't. I mean, it would ha- Beerus would have to really screw around with him for a long time. That's the only way I can think of it working out, you know, and getting him stronger and stronger and stronger. Yeah, because with Beerus, he's a character that we've mentioned this numerous times in the beginning of this video that I think people underestimate just how many techniques he has. He's a martial arts master that's stated to us in Battle of Gods to be above Goku in all forms. You know, at least Goku sees him as that superior martial artist. And he even does techniques where, like, he clones himself. He can create, like, multiple key blasts. You know, his energy projections off the point. You know, and, of course, he, he has the notification of all key. So... When you add that all in, you probably could say that Beerus could take the W, even if Broly is stronger than him. And we don't know by how much because all we know is that they're relative to each other, you know? So that's all we know. It's never flat out stated that he is stronger than him. 
they throw in the words probably or might, which again leaves it a bit ambiguous. And if Beers has that opening, you probably could say he takes the W because of his knowledge in martial arts and his knowledge and the fact that this guy could be a danger to the universe and he's going to have to end the fight very quickly, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. Um, again, I think people are hyping up. Right now, it's been like this triple threat of a debate here. Jiren, Broly, Beerus. And all three of them have things that give them the edge. It's really hard to pick a winner. I think people are too quick to say, oh, well, Jiren's definitely stronger than Beerus. Okay, maybe, but can Jiren block a Hakai? Oh, well, Broly's definitely stronger than Jiren. Well, possibly he might potentially be, but Jiren was doing stuff that... You know, with his eyes and, you know, he nullified the Genki Dama and shot it back at Goku. So, I mean, it's not an easy fight to pick. But one thing we've definitely come to the agreement of is that Broly really needs to be angry and berserked out for him to be a threat. Um, I mean, he can still be a threat, but I mean like a, a threat to Beerus. He has to be very, very angry. And I'm not sure if Beerus can get him there, number one. Number two, I don't know if he'll allow him to get there. So, if there's any points that we missed, uh, let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to address it. Uh, anything you want to say before we get out of here? I mean, yeah, I mean, if he's not in that hulkish form, then Beerus pretty much slaps, <laughs> you know? So. Oh, dude. <laughs> I mean, I mean, dude, in the movie, freaking Super Saiyan God Vegeta, not even Blue, slapped him. Yeah, Even so. in the Uzaru powered up <laughs> form, yeah, so yeah, he has to be angry to be scary. And that's one thing people have to understand about the movie. It's really not bad power scaling. Toriyama wrote it that way on purpose. He has to be angry to be scary. He is the Hulk. I mean, there, there's no question about it. Thanks for being here, bro. Yes, sir. We'll talk to y'all soon.